Senator Parkinson announced Kansas has finally landed one of its biggest and most controversial business deals. Well, some still aren't sure about the new multi-million dollar rail hub, despite its promises to bring in more than 13,000 new jobs. Amy Hawley is here with the story. Amy? Well, the new intermodal facility is expected to confirm Kansas as the second largest freight transportation hub in the entire nation. Despite the advantages of that status, the promised jobs, the economic impact to the Gardner-Edgerton area right off of I-35, some say disadvantages still exist for the environment and for homeowners. All the legislators. Governor Mark Parkinson and the State Transportation Department explained the enormity of the rail hub project to a crowd of black suits today. This intermodal facility really makes us beachfront property right here in the state of Kansas. And you know, nothing's better than beachfront property. And if you live on Kansas's new beach, you'll hear waves of... <laughs> The governor promises this is a sound of prosperity and economic opportunity in the midst of a countrywide economic downturn. If you don't have great schools and you don't have great roads, there's no amount of money that you can offer that will get a company to come and that will stay for the long term. Kansas City is right in the middle of everything. And so is Rob Shippey and his country road home. Problem is, chances of selling his beachfront location is... None. He says he moved out here seven years ago to neighbor next to people like the pumpkin patch. But now he's about to become neighbors right across the street with the rail hub site. A site that's projected to bring in a half billion dollars worth of development and investment when it's all said and done. Here the railroad plans to expand rail lines and build distribution centers for thousands of semis in and out of here a day. I think they're going to be uh, very happy. I think they will say, they will look back and say that BNSF outperformed what they told us they were going to. I don't know if they'll be extremely happy. Uh, it might be better than some of the alternatives. Rob and his family say they just want to know if the railroad is going to let them sink or swim on Kansas's new beachfront property. Rob says he's still waiting to hear after six years if the developer or the railroad will in fact buy him out. A national environmental group is suing right now to keep the massive project from happening. But the railroad says greenhouse emissions go down when supplies are transported by train, not by multiple trucks on the road. The project should be up and running by 2013. Amy Holly, NBC Action News.